Before we begin, take out the math handout you received in class today. It should look like this. There are three pages, one page for each method we'll go over today. Make sure to take notes on each method as we go through the video. You'll need to write down step one and step two for each method, and you'll need to show your work in the space provided on the handout. As I mentioned, today we'll be learning three different methods for finding the area of a composite shape. Before beginning, let's go over what a composite shape actually is. A composite shape is a shape like the one drawn here. You can see it isn't just one rectangle or one square, it's actually a combination of the two. So a composite shape consists of two or more geometric shapes. In order to find the area of a composite shape, there's going to be more than one step. Let's go over one method of how to solve this problem. In order to find the shaded area of this figure, we can begin by dividing the figure into a rectangle, as you can see here in dark green, and a square, as you can see here in light green. We'll be able to find the total shaded area of this figure by adding together the area of the rectangle and the area of the square. We know that to find the area of a rectangle or a square, we multiply the length times the width. We want to begin by finding the area of the rectangle. In order to find the area of the rectangle, we have to identify first the length and the width. The length is 8 centimeters long, as it says here. Now we have to find the width. To find the width, we have to take a look at the information given. Currently, the width is split into two parts. We need to add these two parts together to find the width of the rectangle. The width of the rectangle is 4 centimeters. The area of the rectangle is then 8 times 4, or 32. But we're not done yet. Remember, always label your units. The area of the rectangle is 32 centimeters squared. Well, now we found the area of the rectangle, so we have one part of the shaded figure complete. We now have to find the area of the square. The length and width of the square is 2 centimeters. So the area of the square is 2 times 2, or 4 centimeters squared. So now we've found the area of the parts. Now we're ready for step two, which is to find the total shaded area. To find the total area, we just need to add together the area of the rectangle and the area of the square. 32 plus 4 equals 36. The area of the shaded figure is 36 centimeters squared. Frequently, there's more than one way to find the area of a composite shape. In method one, we found the area by dividing the figure into a rectangle and a square and then adding them together. We could also find the area by dividing the figure into two rectangles. We could view this figure as one rectangle, shown here in dark green, and one larger rectangle, shown here in light green. We can find the area of these two shapes and then add them together to find the total area. You can see this method is very similar to method one. The only difference is that we're dividing the figure differently. Once again, we know to multiply the length times the width to find the area of a rectangle. We're given the length and the width of the first rectangle. The area of the dark green rectangle is 8 times 2, or 16 centimeters squared. Next, we have to find the area of the light green rectangle. The width is provided, as you can see here circled in blue. However, the length of this longer rectangle is currently unknown. We need to look at the information provided to find the length. You can see that the two parts highlighted in red here make up the length of the opposite side. The length of the larger rectangle is 8 plus 2, or 10 centimeters. And the area of the light green rectangle is then 10 times 2, or 20 centimeters squared. Once again, the second step is to find the total area of the shaded region by adding the two rectangles together. 16 plus 20 equals 36 centimeters squared. So we were able to find the shaded area of this figure by dividing it into two rectangles as well. There's one more way we could have solved this problem. Let's discuss method three. To solve using the third method, we need to visualize this figure as a complete rectangle, as seen here in forest green. We can illustrate this on paper by drawing a dotted line to show a complete rectangle. To solve using this method, we need to find the whole rectangle and then take the unshaded part away. We'll find the area of the whole rectangle by multiplying the length times the width. We have to find the length and the width of the whole rectangle first in order to find the area. The length can be found by adding 8 plus 2. The length is 10 centimeters. 
Now we need to find the width. The width can be found by adding 2 and 2. The width is 4 centimeters. So the area of the whole rectangle is 10 times 4, or 40 centimeters squared. The area of 40 centimeters squared currently includes the white square in the upper right hand corner of this figure. We want to take that part away, so we're left with just the shaded area. So we have to find the area of the square. The area of the square can be found by multiplying the length, 2 centimeters, times the width, 2 centimeters. So the area of the square is 4 centimeters squared. Now we can move on to step 2 and find the total area of the shaded figure. 40 centimeters, which is the area of the rectangle, minus 4 centimeters, which is the area of the square, equals 36 centimeters squared. So you can see here in this third method that we were also able to find the area of the shaded figure by finding the area of a complete rectangle and taking the unshaded part away. When finding the area of a composite shape, it really doesn't matter which method you use. Finding the area of a composite shape is like solving a puzzle. There's more than one way to see it.